Hi everyone, this is for you Kevin. You requested an instructional video on the full size battery tray adapter um, that I built for the Viterra sender. Um, I'm just going to try to do this as quick as possible so you know how to make it. Nothing special. Um, I bought basically a long strip of this aluminum hobby grade sheet metal that you can get at any hardware store. Um, get the 90 degree and just get a, I would say a 15 inch, two foot section is fine, even overkill. Probably best to get a little extra in case you make any mistakes. Super cheap, you shouldn't pay more than $10. Um, you're going to need some two millimeter pan head screws. Um, you should have some of these left around from either other RC cars or screw kits that you've purchased. If not, pick some up. And if you can't get this size, any size will work. And then you're going to need some lock nuts to go on the back of the screws just to tighten them. So the first step is basically take your angle grinder, or I should have said you're going to need a grinder, um, or your table grinder if you have one, and cut the sections of metal that you need. For the adapter I built, there's two sections. I'm going to give you the measurements. Two sections that run exactly two and three quarter inches and that's one two and then the base which is two more sections screwed together that give you this S shape S shape and those are exactly 1.9 inches Or even 1.8 inches. But 1.9 is better. Okay, once you cut your four pieces of sheet metal, all you need to do is cut the holes so the screws can align and bolt together. The only really complicated part on this base, and I don't have the tool I use to show you, is a torch and a wooden block. Uh, I don't have my torch with me. I heated up this metal to give it a slight angle right here to open the angle. And I didn't even measure. I just eyeballed it. So once I had the two pieces bolted together, I just heated this edge here was my torch and I pushed it down on a wooden block until I got the slight angle I wanted and that was just so when it sits down I want it to sit flat and what's cool about heating it if it doesn't if you don't get it right you can always adjust it just heat it back up um, I absolutely don't know about metal uh, one of the things I've heard throughout my life is that Putting it in cold water after heating it can add strengthening properties, so I did that, but I have no clue with aluminum. So when I got the angle right, I would just dip it in cold water and watch it bubble. Um, disclaimer, make sure you use eye protection and gloves when you're using the angle grinder and any kind of heating material, torch, whatever. That grinder is going to throw sparks everywhere. And... If you have kids or animals around it, they're going to have sparks thrown on them, so be very careful. Um, so, basically, you take the two 1.9 inch bases, you take the long, I want to say the long piece of the L-shaped aluminum, and you just... 
put them together and you're gonna bolt them with two screws the hole should be identical to the size of the screw you get so if you can't find two millimeter just make sure whatever bit you cut the holes with is the same as the screw size you get this is double stick tape and I don't use it for sticking I just use it to give it a soft surface so when the battery's being pressed down it's not so much pressure via the metal surface and once you have your base assembled so you're gonna put screw one here screw two here and then back it with nuts one of mine I didn't put a nut on not because I should have shouldn't have just because I ran out but luckily I cut the hole just perfect so the screw was able to sink in there pretty tight without it so once the base is built you just take two the two two and three quarter inch strips and you're gonna cut holes for them one hole two holes and they mount right to the top of the base At this point, it doesn't matter which side you mount it to because you're going to bend the opposite end once this is fully assembled. It'll be a lot easier to handle with gloves on when it's all together versus you trying to grab this tiny little piece of metal and bend it. Hi everyone. Just wanted to make a small adjustment to my Vatera Center full-size battery tray. fabrication video um, when I was showing you I got I didn't really mention one tool um, I used a countersink and it's 5 8 just to open up these screw holes and allow the the pan head screws to kind of fit flush I, it's not absolutely necessary but you definitely don't want a big screw sticking out the top otherwise the battery is going to be putting all the weight on the screw not on the, the new tray and then lastly I didn't I didn't show you know once it's all built you know it sits like this inside the existing battery tray and all I do is I slide the base up to the edge and then widen the tray so a battery can slide in and it slides right in there. I like to slide the battery all the way down so it actually slides under the little ridge right there. And that's it. Once that's done, this thing's ready to rock. I mean, you want to put underneath here either a zip tie or a long piece of Velcro to hold the battery down just like it normally uses. And that's really cool. If you come up with any cool modifications, please post them, share them. Thanks for asking, Kevin. Hope you have a great day.